Now I'm going to show you how to make that video you just watched now. All right, so two things we need to do. First thing, we need to set up the material override, okay? And the second one, we need to set up our light mix. So to set up the material override, you have to come here to the render setup and then come over the scene. You see material override here. So I need you to check that for me. And then in none, we are going to select the material we are going to be using to override this. Okay, now I'm going to select Corona Legacy material and I'm going to select that. There are some things I want us to preserve. I want us to preserve the glass material, sorry. So I'm going to select that. Let's see what we have. I'm going to do interactive render and see what we are going to have. Okay, good. Now we have overridden our material, but I want this thing to look better than it is looking now. It's just looking bland. I don't like that. So I'm going to open my material editor. Okay. Minimize this. Now I'm going to drag this, this material I'm, I'm using to override everything. I'm going to drag it into my material editor like so, and then I'm going to make sure that it's in this instance and I'm going to hit OK. Okay. I'm going to close this now. Then I'm, I will select this and I'll start making modification to it. I'm going to make this say 90. Okay. You see what that did. I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make this part. I'm going to make it 120. Okay. And then I'm going to make my glossiness. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me make this thing a little bit brighter. It, look, it is looking, you know, somewhat dark, and I don't like it. Okay. Make it a little bit darker, a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it like that. That is cool. We have set up our material override. Let's go ahead and set up our light mix. Okay. For this particular video, we are going to be doing that manually because I want to have control over the things we are selecting and the things we are not selecting. So to manually create your light mix, okay, I'm going to click on add. Okay, and I'm going to come over here. The first thing you need to do is light the, add the light mix. You can see C shading underscore light mix. You have to add the light mix first, first. Okay, so I'm just going to add that. When you add that, it, it is going to come in. Okay. Now, when I stop this and start interactive render again, if I just come over here to light mix, you're not going to see anything. That is because we have not selected any light, you know, to be mixed in the light mix. So what we just added is the render element of light mix. So when you come here, you're not going to see anything. All right. So for us to add this light, see how we're going to do it. First of all, let me stop this. Okay, the first light I want us to add, I want us to add the environment light. Okay, so now instead of selecting light mix, we're now going to select C shading underscore light select. Light select is what you use to select the light you want to mix. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK now. And then the first one I want us to work on is the environment light. So I'm going to write environment, I'm going to rename it from here, environment. Okay, when you do that, for you to select the environment light, you know, it, there's no, the way we apply environment light, we, it, we didn't just throw in a light and start adjusting it. We went into our environments and effect, or we went into inside the, the scene and inside this place, and then we, in the single map. So for us to be able to select that light, it's not as if we can go anywhere in our scene and select the environment light, okay? But this is how we do it. You come under here, you see include environment light. When you select that, you're going to see all the environment light that you have. In, in the situation where you have, let me go over here to this thing. In the situation where you have multi maps, you're going to see all the maps that you already have inside this scene displaying here. But in this situation, we have only map 8. So I'm just going to leave it at map 8. And that is, and that is that. Okay, we have selected our environment map in this light select. So when I come over here now and I do interactive render, you're going to see environment. 
and rest. Rest is where all the lies that you have not, you know, categorized, you know, that is where it is found. So if I come here now and I turn this thing off, you see that all other lights are going to turn off. If I turn this one off, you see the environment light just went off. Okay, so let me turn it on and then let's go and categorize all our lights. Okay. All right, so when I come over here, you're going to see these two lights here. Those These two lights, I'm going to categorize them under the sun. Then these three lights in here, they are going to be categorized under lights, including this one here. So first of all, let me go and select light select. Light select. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to select these two lights out here. These are the sun. Okay, so I'm going to click on this plus button here. Okay, you see, include specific light source. I'm going to click on this button here and it's going to add those two lights that I just selected. And then I'm going to rename them and I'm going to call them Sun. Okay, that is the name of that one. So I'm going to quickly do others. So I'm going to come over here. Sorry, let me go up. And I'm going to add. Now I want to add lights. That's the artificial light that we have in this scene. So I'm going to click on light, light select again. And I'm going to say okay. Now I'm going to select. Now what you can do is when an object is is containing the the light and it is grouped. Let's say this thing is closed. Okay, like this. Now when you select that object, when you select the object that is, let me minimize this. When you select the object that is holding the light, you can just come here and click this add plus button. It is going to add it for you. Okay, so I'm going to select this two as well. All right, and I'm going to select this one that we're having in here. Okay, the the light behind here. Let me add this one first so that I can find that one. Or you can just do like a window select. Okay, we can do the window select. It is going to select both the one that has the light and the one that doesn't have the light. And when you hit this add button, it is going to add it for you anyway. So I'm going to come over here and, and type in lights. Okay. That is going to, that is going to rename that for us. Now, if I should come over here and I do interactive render. Now you find out that everything is showing, but our light is not showing. Okay. The reason why our light is not showing is that because we have not, we are not preserving light materials and we need to actually preserve light materials so that this light here will show. Okay. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to go into that same scene and then under preserve, we're preserving only glass. So I'm going to add preserve light material too. Okay. When I do that, the light also will be preserved and all these things will be controlled from here. When I click on this it is going to, to go off now i don't like the fact that this thing is showing black like this so we're going to go into the render the the material setup and we're going to you know make changes to that light material so i'm just going to go over to where that light is and i'm going to select the light and i'm just going to turn off this occlude other lights okay when you turn that thing off you see the black stuff goes away as you can see it has gone away but when you turn on this the, the light will also come on okay so yeah we have set that one up so let's go ahead and uh, render so that uh, we can start saving out okay so i'm gonna stop this i'm gonna go check out my render setup to ensure that everything are in order okay as you can see is in order our denoiser is in order so i'm gonna go ahead and render this and then I'll see you when the render is done so we can start saving out. Thank you. Now, while we are rendering, there are some things I want us to get, the things we are going to be using to do the image. Now, I want to introduce you to this website, mixkit.co. It is a website where you get free resources, free assets for your next project, okay? Next video project. So, what I want you to do is click on the sound effects. Just type mixkit.co. It's going to get you to that to the place that we just left now. So, when you come in here, I want you to type bird. So when you do that, you're going to see some inventory elements, you know, assets up here. Don't click on those ones. When you come down, you're going to see the free ones down here. Okay. You see the free ones. You see these ones. You can play it to preview it. All right. But let's go ahead and download this one. For the purpose of what we're doing, we're going to be downloading this 
bet in forest loop so you click here it will download it i've downloaded it before so i don't need to download it again but if you click there it is going to download it for you now the next thing i want us to download is a switch sound okay so you come over here you click on switch you, you type in switch and then now you find out that we don't have any free asset on switch so you can choose to get this switch sound from anywhere else but i have a battle subscription so i'm going to Audio preview this Audio i like this so i'm going to view it in Envato elements okay i'm gonna going to download it all right so these are the things we are going to be using to do our stuff now i can also go ahead and search for graphic items like switch graphics inside here so, but for the purpose of what I'm doing, I'm going to download this one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to be putting all the links to this in the description. So do where to check it out and then download it in case you're interested. All right. Now let's um, go back to 3ds Mass and see if our render is done. Yeah, I think it is done. So I'm going to stop it now and I'm going to allow you to denoise. The noise in I've started. Okay, now it's done the noise in. Let's go ahead and save this thing out. Okay, for us to be able to save this out, let me make this big. We are going to be saving it out part by part. So the first one, we are going to turn off everything and we're going to save it out. Alright. So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna name this one one. Then the the format to png override to 2.2 and then i'm going to hit save and okay then i'm going to turn on the environment light and i'm going to save it out as two and then the png for the format 2.2 for the material gamma override and then i say okay then i'll turn on the sun and then i'll save the sun with the environment so i'm going to name this three and the png then 2.2 for the gamma override i'm gonna say okay then lights let me turn it on again okay i like it to load very well okay so i'm gonna save this one out too i'm gonna to name this four and then png then 2.2 then save i think that's basically it there's no other option if i even if i turn on this race there's nothing there's no new you know input to that so i'm i'm just gonna leave it like that so the next thing we need to do is to go and turn off this material override and then do another render okay do another render that is going to show materials now all right so i'm going to just hit render and it is going to render it okay you see the render is coming out and it is coming out with materials as you can see okay now i've rendered this thing before i don't need to render it again so we're just going to head over to photoshop let me show you how i did my post-production okay nothing serious so i'm going to stop it now i'm going to open photoshop and show you the post-production process all right, so I've, op I've opened Photoshop. You can see this is what I got from 3ds Mark. This is what I saved out. And then this is the post-production that I did. Okay, this is post-production that I did. All right, so when I open the camera raw filter, okay, you will see all the stuff that I did in there. Okay, when I drop this thing down, you're going to see the white balancing. In the temperature, I added eight okay and then a little bit of tint all right that is how i do it and then a little bit of exposure highlight contrast shadows whites you can see all the settings that i did in there the vibrance and the saturation you can see i touched them a little bit then uh in the effects you're going to see a little bit of grain and then um, vignetting okay that's basically what i did in here so at the end of the day let me open this again at the end of the day this is what we got all right so and then i went ahead and i saved both of them out okay i saved both of them out so that we can be able to use it to do this all right so i've saved this one out 
but in just in case let's go ahead and save this out inside that same folder where we kept the other ones so i'm going to save this i'm going to say export export as png all right so i'm going to put it inside here and i'm going to call this i'm going to make this um uh five okay and i'm going to say save and then i'm going to turn this on i'm going to do export export as png and i'm going to name this particular one six okay and i'm going to save all right so that's uh, that's it for the ones we're going to do in photoshop now let's go ahead and open our premiere pro and then let's put these images together with the things that they will access that we downloaded okay all right so i've opened premiere pro i think let's go and bring in all our assets that we're going to be using so first of all this is the the image that we exported i'm going to bring that in i'm just going to drag it to the timeline so i want all this thing to to just play for two two seconds so i'm going to select all of them and i'll come in here and i'll impute two seconds in there like that so all of them now we start and finish in two seconds so at the end of the day we're going to have 12 seconds video right here so i'm going to delete the gap that we have in between so the next thing i want to bring in is the sorry is the is the is the music so i'm going to bring in the birds chipping in the forest okay and i'm going to just put it under here under there then i'm going to go and get my swiss sound okay the swiss sound and I put it there underneath in the timeline. So I'm just going to set this like so. Like that. Okay. I'm going to cut off this. We're not going to be using that. So I'm going to delete that. So let's see. Okay. And the material. Then yes so yeah now i finished adding the images and the sounds and the switch sound now it's time for us to actually add the switch and the text okay so the first one i want to i want to add text first so i'm gonna click on the text let me come in here a little bit okay and i'm going to draw a very big box and i'm going to write the things i want in there I think that's that's about it. I want to change this font size. I don't like that font size, so I will just come down here and change this to space grotesque. So I'm just gonna take this thing and I'm going to move it. Should I keep it here or should I keep it there? I think I should keep it here. Okay, let's see how big. Yeah. Now it is time for... Hold on. I'm going to take this from beginning to the end of this image. The only thing that's going to be changing is the switch buttons. Okay. So I want to go and get my switch. So first of all, I'm going to get the off one, the switch off button, and I'm going to bring it in here. Okay like so and i'm going to move it into place now Okay, now we are we are done setting this thing. So let's go and bring in the the light, the switch on, you know, graphics. So I'm just gonna drop it here. Okay, it has entered. You can see it here. So I want to get the coordinates right. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in here. 
All right. So I'm going to copy the Y coordinates and I'm going to paste it in here. Okay. So I'm just going to take it to the, to the place where it is needed and put it. And when I put it, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to take it to the end. Okay. So the same thing is going to happen for the next place where we're going to have this switch. And then for the next place where we're going to have this. And then just like that. Just like that. Okay. So I'm just going to delete all this. Okay. Delete them. All right. So the same thing that we have here is what we're going to be having here. Okay. So yeah. We need to bring this thing where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to copy this. Okay. The same thing. So I'm just going to copy the Y. I'm going to put it here. Now you see we have what we're supposed to have over there. Now the same thing, I'll copy the Y and I'm going to put it here. Okay. Copy the Y coordinates. And I'm going to put it in here too. Now I'll copy the Y coordinates of this. And I'm going to put it in here. All right, so when you get here, everything will now be switched, switched on. Now this text is going to get missing. So I suggest that we add like a stroke to it. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here, select this text. And then in the settings, I'm going to turn on stroke. I'm going to make it a black stroke. Okay, let me see what that has added. Honestly, not much. Let's see. If... Okay. Let's let, let me come out of there totally. Let me make it like five. Okay. I think we're beginning to see something. Let me make it. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. 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 All right. Now it is time for us to add the additional effects. First of all, I want to apply default transition in between these. So, so now I have to shift this thing from this this very front side. So when I hear, you see. Okay, so this effect is what we are going to be adding. I'm going to add it all over the place. All over the place. So now this comes in front of this effect that I just added, the cross dissolve. It comes in front of it like so. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to add one more in front of here. So it just, we just fade in. Okay. Okay. So now when, when I do this, you realize that it, I don't know if you notice something. You realize that the switch is not turning on when they are supposed to turn on. They are not turning on after the switch has been has been done, after you have heard the sound. Now I'm going to move this over here. Okay. Because that is where they are supposed to be now. So I'm going to move them over. Let's see the one we have done. All right. Okay. So something like that is what we need to do. All right. So. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna feed this to the to the Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So that's it. So um we are basically done with this. So one one thing I just need to do. Okay. Is just to go and uh, bring in my name tag and put there. You can do that if you want. If not, you can just leave it like this and export. I'll be showing you how to export in a GIF. All right, so I've added that. As you can see, it is there now. So let me go ahead. Let's go ahead and export this. All right, so I'm just going to do Control A and then hit the backward slash button. The one that also has question mark on it. I don't know how your keyboard is set. So I'm going to hit Control M. Okay, and I'm going to set this to H2, H.264. Okay. Then I'm going to just come over here and set the name. I want it to be um, light mix video trend. Okay. Then I'm going to say save. Okay. And then I'm going to hit export. And just like that, it is going to export it for us. And we're done. All right. That's how you make videos like that. Okay. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials okay thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one